The submarine is the fifth astute class submarine built by Bay Systems in Barrow. The 97 meters long, 7,400 ton submarine is due to be launched into water in Barrow early next year, ahead of leaving for sea trials in 2022. Advanced nuclear technology means the astute class submarines never need to be refueled. The submarines also manufacture their own oxygen and fresh water from the ocean. The last HMS Anson was a King George V class battleship, which saw active service in World War II. All eight Anson vessels have been named after an admiral of the fleet, George Anson who commanded at the First Battle of Cape Finisterre and was First Lord of the Admiralty during the Seven Years' War. Powered by advanced nuclear technology, the astute-class submarines never need to be refueled. The brilliantly capable and agile boats can circumnavigate the world without surfacing and are limited only by the amount of food that can be stored and the endurance of the crew. The submarines manufacture their own oxygen and fresh water from the ocean. Astute is the first class of Royal Navy submarines not to be fitted with optical periscopes. Instead, they use high-specification video technology with images delivered into the submarine control room via fiber-optic cables. Bay Systems Submarines is responsible for the design, build, testing and commissioning of the Seven Strong Astute fleet. The Astute and New Dreadnought class programs support 9,000 jobs at the shipyard in Barrow, Cumbria and thousands more across the UK supply chain. Based at HMNB Clyde in Scotland, sister boats HMS Astute, HMS Ambush and HMS Artful are already in service, contributing to operations and supporting the continuous at sea deterrent. HMS Audacious, the fourth of class, left Barrow earlier this year and is currently undergoing sea trials. This is an exciting time for UK shipbuilding in defence. With the latest investment of £16.5 billion in the UK's armed forces over four years, the funding will help support the revitalisation and expansion of Royal Navy vessels. More widely, through investing in the building of new and innovative technology, equipment and skills, Defence already injects over £19 billion into industry every year. This secures more than 300,000 jobs across the UK, helping to level up the economy and helping communities to build back better from coronavirus.